No. Bad. Up. 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 Hey guys, this is Bye Bye Money, and welcome to my live trading journal with live commentary scalping the E-mini using only one single setup, the two-legged pullback. And if you don't know what the two-legged pullback is, simply it's a pattern that looks like this. We have one pullback, we call this the first entry, and second pullback, and we call this the second entry. And we can also count this way, A, B, C, and then next A leg, we like to enter in, and this is also the second entry. We like to find this pattern in key areas such as moving averages, trend lines, channels, and uh, support resistance levels. So if we just look at the chart right here, we can see that we have a two-legged pullback right here. If I move this over here, we have a two-legged pullback off the 20 MA right here, perfect, and uh, able to scalp out right there. And we like to scalp out this uh, pattern and with every scalp you can make uh, 200 plus dollars depends on a runner if you have a runner or not but uh, I like to trade five contracts and every contract is fifty dollars for one point and so four contracts are scalped out with one runner and so uh, every trade you make two hundred dollars plus and uh, depending on how you control your runner uh, you can get more from that and so uh, yeah in this video I just go over my trades live and um, I like to use only price action and uh, if you just see in the charts I have a couple indicators um, I have the 20 MA which is solid blue line I have the dash line here which is a 240 SMA and also have uh, two special indicators here that actually help with price action it uses actual price action uh, to help you read it so uh, you see on the charts numbers uh, below and above the candles. Uh, this is a indicator that automatically counts legs and identifies second entries and also uh, traps and so that makes the, uh, trading this strategy very very easy because you just have to follow the indicator and when you get to the key area or context that you're interested in uh, you'll have the indicator tell you if it's a two-legged pullback. Also uh, comes with alerts and also has abilities to do automated stra strategies. And another indicator that recently was released last Friday, uh, and I will say take advantage of it right now um, while you can because there's a promo for it uh, for $25 off, and you can check out the website there. Uh, but it's this trading range indicator that uh, automatically detects these ranges using price action. And so it's not like Bollinger Bands where, or like um, Kettler Channels where it has to use uh, past information in order to create some channel this these channels are actually created by the price action given to us right before us uh, on the charts and so uh, yeah this indicator was just released and uh, if you like more information about uh, either of these indicators you can check out the official website at www.twolegapullback.com and uh, yeah gonna go jump right into the trades and before I go to trades I'd just like to say hey if you like this content helps us out a lot if you like to support the channel hit that like button uh, subscribe uh, leave a comment below I would love if this if these videos if our content uh, gets to go out uh, to the masses to let more people know about the strategy and so helps us out a lot if you're able to do that but otherwise uh, stick around enjoy and uh, happy trading and God bless A, B, C. Let's play the pullback. Also, three pushes up wedge. Training range. Enough room to the bottom training range. I am just trying to scalp out here. 
So if I can get one extra tick here. Each four failure here. You can see with the four here. There's two two leg pullbacks in a row, top of the trading range. <coughs> One two leg pullback. Another two leg pullback. Two two leg pullbacks in a row. H4 failure, you can see with the four magenta box. Top of the trading range. That is not what you want to see, but we'll trust in the setup. Trust in the trading range. Trust in the H4. Got a lot of things going for us. We created a micro double top here at the moment. That's not a bad bar to end on. H4 failure, top of the trading range. Let's go. Stop loss, four points. Getting my stop loss ready to go break even plus one tick. Perfect scalp at the moment. good hit my target again don't like that I don't like how it's touching it keeps bouncing off we'll be patient here being very patient here put it at break even plus one tick hoping it'll fill me come on fill me there it is the rest is a runner. See how far this runner can go. I doubt, actually with the H4 failure, typically reversal pattern, top of trading range. Let's see how far this can go. <clears throat> Maybe I'll be willing to lose a little bit here, even on this runner. Might lose my commissions. Let's just see how it looks like. Potentially be big, but I wouldn't be surprised if we just slowly floated upwards the entire day in a choppy manner. I just wouldn't be surprised if that that's what happens today. Let's see what we have. We have this channel here. Yeah, top of the trainer. This is where the trainer range indicator is good. Micro double top. Training range indicator detected the range starting from these three bars and it's been creating the range ever since then. And so we see that we fail breakout, fail breakout again, fail breakout, close back in. I feel like I'll probably get stopped out, but that's a pretty good bar here. Do I try to fill this gap? I might, maybe, 
maybe even take a small loss for potential big gains, but no, I'll just keep my runner where it is. So you don't want to see that follow through. Alright, let's, let let's just let this run. In this trade for this trap. That's not what you want to see. Let's go this. Let's go this trade. Actually, it looks pretty good now. Alright, I'm scoped. Ah, oh, I should have stayed it. I knew it was gonna burst out like that. Ah! Shame, it's a shame. Truly a shame. Got a little piece of it, but it's all good. All good. That's huge. Huge reversal. Huge reversal here. Phil. Huge reversal bar. He didn't top of the trading range though. But he came in here prematurely. But uh, let's hold. Let's hold this. I see this fail breakout. Reversal. Training range is just so solid right now. Maybe I was banking on a breakout, which I typically shouldn't do. Just saw this huge bull bar and I was ready to come in with a breakout. Coming down here to try to break down, but failed, reversed. I think I can get a point here, but uh, we'll see.
I don't necessarily like the looks of it right now. Close underneath the open, creating a bear bar. Basically creating a triangle now. You can imagine this in a smaller smaller time frame. It's so making a triangle. Typically triangles act as flags. So burst up, flag, burst up. Almost filled me there. Alright, filled. Love it. Let's go baby. Let's go baby. I hope this runner goes up to infinity. I really hope so. But let's see. Currently there is a pretty big gap. It might hit its head here, but this triggered here. But you see how it's on top of the trading range? You do not want to go into that. It's actually the trap. It's what I was interested in. So finally that reversed. Bottom trading range. Now we're in this trade. Let's go baby. Alright, let's let this ride. It might stop me out real soon, but let's just let this ride. Do it. Don't even think about it. Don't even think about it, you runner. Run away. Run away. Whoo, it's close. Don't, come on, don't, don't, stop, stop, nope, get away, just get away, go up, go up, no, don't even think about it, don't think about it, yes, yes, you want to go up, up, Yes, good, good boy. Turn around. No, stop, stay, up. No, bad, up, 
Up. Up. Ah. No joy. No joy. Ooh. Ah, it's hard because it's gonna hit the bottom of this training range now. And it ca could cause resistance. Also the 20 MA. But <clears throat> more so the bottom of this training range may act as resistance. Popping up into it now. We do have a wedge here. One, two, three pushes down, micro wedge. Micro wedge here. I I would need a, a higher low. That will be my only trade here. A higher low. Also be H4 failure. See how that's acting as resistance? It might break through, but it is acting as resistance. Right now. That's why it's wicks above it, comes back down. Look at that. Look at that candle. Pure confusion at the moment. H4 failure with wedge, bottom of the training range. Support here. Let's see if we get a high or low here. H4 failure. Two legged pullback. H4 failure is simply two two legged pullbacks in a row. Two legged pullback here. Another two legged pullback. Let's see if we double bottom here, if it breaks down. Okay, continuing this wedge here. Hitting the resist, hitting the support here. Currently making a perfect scalp. If it has, if this bar has follow through, I'm no longer interested in the H4. It looks pretty strong. But let's let the candle finish. What's expected is failed break it down. That's what's expected. Very terrible signal bar to enter into H4 failure. Let's let it finish though. This wedge. Again, this is pro uh, proven to be support at the moment. Perfectly closed on the support line created by a trade range indicator. I might, you know, I'd love to give credit to the trade range indicator, but it's actually price action, right? The trade range indicator is just simply, you know, visualizes the price action by these lines. So the price action here, obviously, there's a many, there's a lot of touches here. So that's where the support is. It's almost too simple, but that's what it does. That's why it's effective. Let's see if there's follow through. There's slight follow through. Could be failed right now. Let's wait for this candle to finish. Wedge is currently breaking. H4. So if you were in this trade here, you'll have one, two, three, four points. Your stop loss would be right here if you entered right here. One, two, three, four. So those who are still here might be holding their trade still. However, we're more interested in the H4 failure. Three pushes down. Well, H4 is actually four pushes down, if you think about it. One, two, three, four pushes down. Two two-legged like pullbacks in a row. Whatever you want to call it, this is the setup we have. Every push down, it's a failed breakdown attempt. Tries to reverse, fails, tries to reverse, fails again, tries to reverse, fails again, tries to reverse, and we're seeing if it'll fail. And uh, uh, I would love the, you know, the higher low here. That's a setup I would like, but um, we might not get it. We might just have this H4 here. I, I, I can't, I cannot just go into this because of closing beneath the training range. There is a chance that it might spike down. 
and try to get these um, try to get the stop loss because people have they're in here right now with this stop loss the four point stop loss I'm sure of it essentially if it pushes down one more time it might break it might break the longs here the longs essentially doubled up their, their position here and they're in with a scale in most likely with this trade with this trade so if it does reverse on them again they're most likely going to you know I'll capitulate so here is that first entry and if I put a line here you can see the break even is right here at the 25s there might be some resistance right here people trying to come out break even especially when you see this if you see this ooh, that's bad these guys are broken now. They're most likely this most likely to spike down. Uh, most likely just spike down. Give you a point. But doesn't matter. We're not even interested in this. It's a little overextended for me, anyways. On H4, I'm not trying to do this trap. I'm trying to come in with reversal here. I'm gonna come in if it comes back up here, actually, showing me H5 failure. H4s sometimes have this little extra push down with H5. And these people are going to get stopped out. And when they get stopped out, that's when you want to come in. They're going to get stopped out here. Just watch. And they're going to be kicking themselves and wondering, why did I get out of my trade so early? I should have held my stop loss at four points. Okay, so we're waiting. It missed it by one tick. Beautiful. So you're still actually in this trade. If you're right here. Okay, it's not what the bulls want. Not the best signal bar. No conviction there. One, two, three, four, five non-bull bars in a row. I wouldn't be surprised if it stop hunts people here. Comes back down, that's a micro double bottom for me. I'm in this trade here. Let's see if it hits it, Let's see if it triggers it. Micro double bottom. Interested in this trade. All right, let's see if we get the scalp here. I'm just gonna scalp out. Nothing else. Keep my five points, four points stop loss. Man, they missed it by one tick. So these guys are rejoicing at the moment, saying, "I see." So you're saying there's still a chance. So let this ride.
That's a shame. I was not recording my voice. But uh, trust me, there was a lot of amazing things that were said there, so sorry about that. Yeah, so I, I got into this too late pull, but I saw this huge spike, surprise bar spike. The trap coming out of the top of this training range. And the spike, too late to pull back, came in with the one point scalp and uh, got stopped out with my runner. But the two leg pullbacks are here, I'll draw it off again. So, first pullback. So you have the trend here. Going upwards. Try and going upwards. One pull back, one push down. First entry, another push down. This second push down fails. And when it reverses, that's a two legged pull back, second entry. Resuming the original trend. The reason why I actually took that, even with a strong bare bar like this, is, well, to be honest, obviously I should have waited, but uh, the reason why I felt confident even though I didn't wait is because of where we were in the trading range. Not only that, if we look back here, there's another trading range you can see by the trading range indicator. If I extend this line all the way back here, you can see that it actually overlaps right on top of this so the top of that training range and the bottom of this training range are acting as support now and that's why I felt confident if it did break down it would most likely reverse have a failed breakdown because of how the strong how strong the support was Alright, got a scalp there, two-legged pullback, as you can see, two-legged pullback here, and a uh, good signal bar, and uh, yeah, I was waiting for a two-legged pullback for this entire time, but you see here, there's no two-legged pullbacks all the way on this entire upswing until right here, but here, it's just, it's just not close enough to any key area, uh, sure it'll bounce above the uh, 20 MA. But uh, in my mind, when you have this strong bare leg here, you're expecting maybe another push down. And now, once we hit this key area from this trend line created from this pivot, this pivot all the way up here, then I felt comfortable going in long right there. So finally caught in with a two leg pullback. Yep, that's it for today. So eight. 1887 50 cents let's go baby happy with that and as always uh, happy trading and god bless